Whether you're just getting started with Bright Alive or you'd like to load a bunch of information into the program without having to click through the screens, the Import Data feature will save you a bunch of time. In Bright Alive, you can import contacts, items, departments, and vendors. The basic concept with importing is that you first enter the information into an Excel spreadsheet and then upload that spreadsheet into Bright Alive. Bright Alive will then inspect the contents of the spreadsheet, validate it, and then add the information to your system if everything looks good. In this video, I'll walk you through how to import your inventory items, but the same concept applies for contacts, departments, and vendors. Okay, so to import items, first navigate to Inventory, Search Items, and then click the Import button. When importing items, you have the option of creating new items or updating existing items. If you want to add items to Bright Alive, then choose the Create New Items option. However, if you're looking to do a bulk update, then you'd select Update Existing Items. This option is useful when you want to, let's say, update pricing for all bridal gowns from a particular vendor, or do anything else in bulk that is not already available in the Bulk Actions menu. We'll look at how to do this a little bit later in the video, but for now, let's focus on adding new items to Bright Alive. Before we can import new items, you must enter the item information into the Bright Alive import template. This template can be found by clicking the Download Import Template for Creating New Items link. This will download a CSV file, which opens with Excel or any spreadsheet program of your choosing. In general, it's always a good idea to start with just a few entries for importing because you'll want to make sure that you understand how to format your data before you spend time formatting items incorrectly and then end up with a bunch of validation errors in the end. Now let's look at what the import template looks like and talk about how to correctly enter your information. When you open the template file, you'll notice that the first row contains column headings that match the fields on the Add Item screen. In this video, we aren't going to talk about the meaning of each field, but we'll discuss what the valid values are to enter into each cell. If you'd like more information about the meaning of each field, you can refer to the Inventory Fundamentals video. Below the header row, you'll see that we've provided three examples. Each row represents an item, and the first example row contains an item with all of the fields populated, so that you can see the correct formatting for each column. It is critical that your information is formatted exactly as we've outlined in these examples. Now let's look at what goes into each column. The first field is department code. In Bright Alive, you give each department a code to uniquely identify it. Enter the department code exactly as it appears in the program. The next field is vendor code. As with department code, each vendor is given a code as well. Enter the vendor code exactly as it appears in Bright Alive. Your departments and vendors must exist in Bright Alive before importing. Bright Alive will not create departments and vendors when you're importing items. We enter the department and vendor codes in the spreadsheet so that Bright Alive knows how to classify each item. Next, we have item name, which is your store style number and it's how you want this item to appear to your customers. Then you have the description, which is just a short blurb about the item. It can be the collection year or anything you'd like. Vendor item name comes next, and this is your manufacturer's style number. If you don't private label, this value will be the exact same as the item name. For more information on private labeling, search for private labeling in the Bright Alive Help Center. Notes gives you an area to put extra details about the item. Next, you'll enter the color, accent color, and size of the item. Then you have on-hand quantity, which is how many of these items you have in the store, and it's entered as a number, as is the reorder point. Inventory cost is the actual cost of the item. It's what you paid for the item originally, and is entered as a number. The order cost is how much the item costs today, and the retail price is the price the customer pays for this item. So inventory cost, order cost, and retail price must all be entered without commas and without their currency symbol. 
The tax code column must match your tax code exactly in Bright Alive. These codes are found underneath settings, point of sale, tax codes, and just make sure what you enter in this cell matches the tax code description exactly. Item type must also match and be one of the four possible item types, inventory item, non-inventory item, rental, or service. For a description of each item type, refer to the tooltip on the Add Item screen. The valid values for Prompt to Register and Do Not Allow Discounts are either Y or N, yes or no. Prompt to Register is used for PROM and will cause the PROM registry window to appear when this item is added to an order. Next, the Attributes column can be used to add attributes to the item. Each attribute must match exactly with what is seen on the Edit Item screen. To add multiple attributes, separate each one with what's called a pipe, which is this character. And you can type that by holding Shift and pressing the key above the Enter key. The discontinued date is the date on which this item was or is going to be discontinued. The status column has three valid values, A for active, D for discontinued, or I for inactive. Inactive items are no longer available for sale and it's likely that you won't be importing inactive items, just active or discontinued ones. Okay, so I've gone ahead and filled out the import template with the dress that I want to import into Bright Alive. And now, we're going to import it. To do so, I'm going to need to upload the file by pressing the Browse for Import File button and selecting the file that contains my items. Once the selection has been made, click Import Items and Bright Alive will begin validating the contents of the file. If you're importing thousands of items, then this process may take a couple minutes, so give the program some time to do its job. If Bright Alive finds errors, they will be displayed below. In this case, I had a vendor code that I had incorrect, so I'll need to make the fix and re-upload the file. Once everything checks out, Bright Alive will add the item to the system. Congratulations, you just imported your first item. Now let's talk about how to update existing items using the bulk update feature. So from time to time you may want to update a bunch of items at once. Most of the updates you'd need are provided from the bulk actions menu on the search items screen. However, you may need to do something else. In this case, you'll need to use the Update Existing Items option. The basic concept here is to export your items, make your changes in Excel, and then upload those changes back into Bright Alive. Let's look at how you'd make a bulk change to pricing using this feature. First, we need to export the items that we want to update. I'll export all my bridal gowns. Next, we need to open the export file in Excel and make our changes. Take note here that there is an extra column called the item number column in this spreadsheet. You can't use the spreadsheet that we used for creating items when you're updating existing items because Bright Alive won't know which item it is that you want to update. You have to first export your items and then make changes to the export to do your update. So now I'm going to make my changes, and for this tutorial, I'll just change the price of all the dresses to $500. When I'm done with my changes, I need to save my file as a CSV so that Bright Alive can interpret it. After we've saved the file, We'll upload it just like we did when we were creating new items.
Once the file is uploaded, we'll click Import Items and wait for Bridal Live to either return errors or show that all the items were updated. Again, if you're doing a lot of items, give it some time to process. If everything goes right, you'll see a success message. Otherwise, Bridal Live will let you know which line numbers need to be fixed. After making the fixes, you'll need to upload the file again, and once everything looks good, Bridal Live will update all of your items. Nice job! You've just bulk updated your inventory items. And this concludes our tutorial on importing data into Bridal Live.